The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson is a poignant young adult novel that delves into Lennon's journey of grief, following the loss of her sister, Billy. Struggling with the weight of this profound loss, Lennon finds herself overwhelmed and disconnected from the world. However, as she begins to forge new connections with individuals who also loved her sister, Lennon gradually discovers that grief is an inescapable part of life and that unexpected friendships can serve as a source of solace. Nelson's novel skillfully explores and validates the complex emotions that young adults often encounter for the first time, illustrating the transformative power of companionship. The story unfolds shortly after Bailey's passing, with Lennon grappling with profound sorrow and a bleak outlook on happiness. Returning to school, she becomes the recipient of overwhelming sympathy from her peers and teachers. Yet, these well-intentioned gestures fail to ease her pain. I and her band class, Lennon encounters a new classmate named Joe Fontaine, who is not only incredibly talented, but also captivates the hearts of many girls, including Lennon's nemesis Rachel. Surprisingly, Joe takes a keen interest in Lennon, visiting her at her house, leaving her both unsettled and intrigued. Alongside this unexpected connection, Lennon also discovers that Toby, Bailey's former boyfriend, is struggling immensely with grief. As Lennon and Toby form a romantic bond, she finds herself torn between these two love interests, uncertain how to navigate her feelings amidst the backdrop of her sister's death. Any day after school, Lennon finds Toby waiting outside her house, and they engage in a heartfelt conversation in the garden. Their shared grief creates a profound connection between them, as Lennon believes that Toby is the only one who truly comprehends the depths of her pain, given his close relationship with Bailey. However, she remains perplexed by his sudden affection towards her, previously assuming that he barely noticed her existence. The Sky is Everywhere beautifully explores themes of grief, love, and the complexities of navigating intense emotions. It portrays Lennon's personal journey as she strives to reconcile her feelings, find solace, and forge her own path forward in the wake of her sister's untimely demise. Later that week, during lunchtime, Joe approaches Lennon as she sits perched in a tree in the schoolyard. He suggests that she plays the clarinet alongside his guitar, hoping for a musical collaboration. However, Lennon declines his offer, much to his disappointment. I in the midst of the following night, Toby visits Lennon at her house and makes a move, leaning in for a kiss. Caught up in the moment, Lennon consents to his advances, only to immediately regret it due to Toby's past relationship with Billy. Feeling conflicted, Lennon confides in one of her closest friends, who reacts with anger, seemingly confirming Lennon's fears that Bailey would have disapproved of their budding romance. As summer break arrives, Joe's efforts to court Lennon intensify. He shows up at her house every morning, often bearing gifts. He engages in conversations with her grandmother and her uncle, affectionately known as Uncle Big. Despite Joe's persistent presence, Lennon remains uncertain about his true intentions for coming to her house. Any day, while Lennon is having dinner with her family, Joe unexpectedly arrives and openly admits that he has developed feelings for her. As they leave together, they run into Toby, who becomes upset upon seeing them. The next day, Lennon spends time with Toby at her house. Just as they are about to engage in an intimate moment, Joe appears, nearly catching them in the act. That night, Lennon finds herself at Joe's place, where they engage in heartfelt conversations and share a bottle of wine. They discuss their aspirations for the future, and Lennon finds herself drawn to Joe, mentally committing to pursuing a relationship with him instead of Toby. She plans to break things off with Toby, but when they meet, he drops a bombshell revelation he reveals that Bailey was pregnant with their child when she tragically passed away. Overwhelmed by this unexpected revelation, Lennon impulsively kisses Toby, right as Joe arrives on the scene. Joe, hurt by the sight, informs Lennon that he is no longer willing to pursue a romantic relationship with her, citing his past experience of being betrayed by a previous girlfriend. Lennon desperately seeks his forgiveness, but he remains steadfast in his decision. Toby, realizing the situation, tries to mediate and explain that their kiss occurred during an incredibly challenging moment. Nevertheless, Joe rejects Lennon's pleas. Feeling distraught, Lennon witnesses Joe striking up a connection with Rachel. Undeterred, she decides to make one final attempt to win him back, presenting him with a bouquet of roses from her grandmother that supposedly possesses aphrodisiac properties. Despite Joe's repeated refusals, Lennon refuses to give up. In a final attempt to make amends, she channels her emotions into compassing a heartfelt love poem, leaving it for Joe in the woods. The next day, Joe meets Lennon at the same spot, indicating his acceptance of her apology. As the novel concludes, Lennon embarks on a journey. 
she attends Uncle Big's wedding, celebrating the joyous union of her family member. Later, she visits Bailey's grave, where she stumbles upon Bailey's engagement ring. In this moment, Lennon experiences a significant realization grief is an inherent part of life, intricately intertwined with the profound emotion of love. The sky is everywhere, ultimately conveys the message that despite the inevitability of grief, we should strive to embrace and cherish love in all its forms. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.